is the problem with this and the entire energy field. American lifestyles. Does the president believe that <coughs> given the amount of energy Americans consume per capita, how much it exceeds any other citizen in any other country in the world, does the president believe we need to correct our lifestyles? That's a big no. sunshine into someone's life. Do you, do you know if um, you uh, give the oil, your used oil away for, for biodiesel? You know, what, you know what that is? Winston, Winston. You want to go? You want to get in the car? how much climate change we've already set in train irreversibly. Uh, there are five or six abrupt climate change scenarios, several of which at least look like they may be starting to happen. I think now we, we have the science down well enough uh, to be really worried that if we keep on with business as usual, we have very little time to turn this around. But, you know, somebody once asked the, the late systems thinker, Dana Meadows, um, do we have enough time to get out of this mess in one piece? And she correctly replied, we have exactly enough time, starting now. There's two ways to use vegetable oil in a car. You can either convert the car and use straight vegetable oil, or you can make biodiesel out of the vegetable oil. And that's what I'm going to do. Can I have a shrimp curry, please? Um, I think the preferred oil is at um, Asian restaurants because they use peanut oil exclusively for frying. Oh, thank you. Uh, this, what is this? Is this pad thai? Pad thai. Oh, I thought I ordered uh, shrimp curry. Originally, diesels, you know, back at the turn of the century, when Mr. Diesel, who worked for Mercedes, invented the diesel engine. It ran on peanut oil. Guess next time I get a order by number. Mm -hmm. Oh, you waited for me. Winston, stop it. Come on. Come on. Come on, inside. I was brought up during the energy crisis of the 70s, and so saving gas or turning off the lights or not letting water run when you're brushing your teeth, all of those things were policies that I was brought up with as a kid. Plus, my parents were environmentally conscious, too. So it's just a, a philosophy that I've always had, and I try and act on it. It's my third lunch of the day. It's better than that. I'm here. Oh, did you miss me? Did you miss me? So this is a simple process. I mean, this seems like, to me, something they could have done, well, 150 years ago. I'm going to try and get people involved at first by just showing them the process. Eventually, if I have, if I have capacity to do it, I'll, I'll have other people in the community bring their oil here for processing, sort of as a co-op. OK. Well, this is where um, I take the oil from the restaurants and put it in this container here. And then eventually it makes its way to the reaction where I actually make the biodiesel. And then eventually it goes to washing and drying. And 
and then it goes in the car. And you do all that in here? Yeah. What, um, what part do the dogs play in all this? The dogs are my muse and the comic relief. <laughs> this, is, um, this is biodiesel, which is the end product of this process. And this goes right into the car. All, this, all the Asian food smell is gone. It smells like apple juice. Physically, from my point of view, it's, it's a couple hours of work to get 20 or 40 gallons of fuel for basically free. OK, let's go for a walk. Come on. Let's go for a walk. Come on. Come on, let's go for a walk. Oh, Winston's in charge. Uh, you know, I'm not sure when I heard about global warming. It seems like it was five or six years ago. And I'm not sure how dire it is, because I'm not a scientist. I just think that, that everyone should do what they can to reduce waste or emissions. And this is one thing I can do. And I can teach other people how to do it. So hopefully, it'll have a ripple effect. As the architect, Bill McDonough, said, negligence begins tomorrow. Now that we know what to do, we have no excuse. So what are we waiting for? We're the people we've been waiting for. Come on, let's go.